Mikkel once again. <laughs> okay. You're riling in the chat. It's got a got a fun opinion. So, but I, I think that that'll be good. You know, I think, um, yeah, because I, I personally got to get going here probably relatively soon to to make a four or five p.m. Pacific time to to get to where I need to get to. And, and definitely the cool thing in that that what I enjoy about this is just watching the video of all of this racing and kind of utilizing what you're seeing and kind of applying it to when you go out and you race next time, especially to, um, you know, in the 150 CC side of things uh, for free for all. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think so. We're getting started here in about eight minutes for the, I for this finals. So. Yes. Okay. Um, and I see Thinsky uh, asking in the chat, um, how many players promote from the semis to the final. And I do believe it is all 12. Uh, we did two semi-final rooms of which uh, of six of each um, went on and so now the 12 people who did um, promote from the semi-finals to the finals will now battle it out for the championship win in eight minutes time and it looks like preliminarily if that's a word or the preliminary idea is is that we're going to be using Cinda's point of view or Oh, he's not streaming. Oh, so it could be Z. So this will be interesting, seeing who that's going to be. Uh, but yeah, kind of going in and looking at you know the, the 12 that have made it yet again. Zeb, Cinda, Ace Team Man, Devotee, Kai, UUU, Neo, Reese, Nikon, Maxim, Audi, and Rookie. Yeah, so we got some streamers there. It'd be cool to get a unique point of view. Those names are kind of the names you you would expect to see up at this level. So, so many Division 1 uh, players here. I'm just kind of trying to... Uh, I can't really name one player who isn't really D1 worthy. Because, I mean, obviously, Reese, uh, he plays for Horizon, uh, for Horizon. Horizon is definitely an up-and-coming team, though. Um, for real, and, they are. And, and Reese is uh, notably one of uh, Horizon's best players. Uh, Reese has definitely made a really good name of himself more recently as well. Yeah, th those guys have a system and they are executing very well on it. And, you know, I'm still super thankful to when I got started and competitive about late March of this, this past year that I got to be mentored by them for just even two weeks before, you know, the, the Vegas scene kind of grew up and, and they kind of were moving on. And, you know, obviously, you know, we, we weren't ready to be at that level, but just, just learning a lot from him definitely goes a long way. And just the, some of the stuff that they've done, I think there was one tournament too. Uh, they've had a little bit of an interesting tournament history, but there was a tournament where they had some crazy upset, I think, against the team, right? It, I don't know if it was Agility or Arcadian or something like that, but uh, they, they've been, as a team, they've been really dominant. I mean, Horizon definitely do have a few crazy upsets under their belt. I know... Obviously, when Aurora was alive, uh, they took a win in the first round of Agility. Okay, it was Agility. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think HC, this was when it was uh, this was Agility 2, so this would have been uh, eight races. And I remember because I actually took part in that war uh, on the side of AU. Uh, and HC beat AU. Um, I don't know how much by, uh, but that was... Um, that was a nice little upset they pulled off. Um, yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure they do have a lot more upsets under their belt, but obviously can't need them all. Yeah, their, their team's changed a lot. and uh, It definitely uh, has. Yeah, I, I, I don't... People think that there's you know interesting rifts with, with, with what I'm in now versus them, but I've, I didn't really know those guys too well, but the fact is like they told me how to bag, and the very first time... I put this in my little player hub that that they made me war with them. Uh, granted, I was not even D6. I must have been D, D12 at that point, not even the rappers. But like I was put in, in a war against Elegance in MKU with them my very first time. I had to sub in for a player that, that quit <laughs> for a couple of reasons. It was wild, but... How did it go? Did it, did it go well? Oh, we, oh I, we were losing before I hopped in, but... uh. I got like 22 points in eight races so yeah 
but no, it, it's super cool just just seeing how the, how much those guys have grown, especially over the course of of just the, yeah, not even a full year. Like, they've evolved so much, and then you got you know some really great names in here too. You got Rookie Devotee, um, you know, you got Kai U U U, Cinda Zeb, Neo Maxim. I don't know too much about, but I'm starting to. Um, and, and some of their teams, Audi as well. I know he's he's linked to a team, but it, it's really kind of cool just you know seeing not only how these players are playing respectively on their teams, but also to kind of their own individual style too when they're coming to these free for all tournaments. It's really exciting to see. And as mentioned, fifty dollars or whatever your currency is, uh, the equivalent in an eShop card on the line here for the grand mm-hmm. finals. And I mean, yeah, we're going to the grand finals now. It is, it's come to the point where we're kind of expected to see the best of the best actually make it, make it up to this point. And I think that is what we've been seeing and what we're about to see as well. Uh, I do expect we're going to see most certainly top level Mario Kart play here. And we're going to see pay, uh, people probably not being afraid to take any risks as well. Yeah, you know what's funny is I literally just had this stat, and I got to just double check it, but I believe this is correct. Um, nine out of the top 12 seeded players have moved on. And then I believe it's Audi, Devoti, and somebody else. I think it's it's Nikan uh, there that have made it on from not being in the top 12. That's, yeah, that's it. So it's really kind of interesting just seeing some of those guys that have fought it out throughout the the four or five different i don't know if this is the fifth or there were five before the the circuits going forward being seated in the top 12 based off of points they ultimately ended up proving the fact that they were they were the right guys all along and the thing is i've always had the view of um that it's pretty damn difficult to be consistent in this game um especially considering the impact items have on this game and obviously I, playing with items and without items it's, a, it's literally a completely different um, completely different playing field but there are just so much uh, possibilities you can do with items and yet at the same time as much as I don't really want to mention this there is quite a lot of luck involved as well and so it can be really hard to um, it can be really hard to uh, expect really everything that happens obviously that's not to put any of these players down um who made it this far because every single player deserves to be here and i think we're in for a very exciting match yeah that's a really unique topic because uh it's funny i don't want to like cheap plug here but um, i was on a podcast talking about this with uh just people that don't even understand what competitive mario kart is and the cool thing about mario kart especially competitively that I've come to realize just from from seeing it kind of in the free-for-all scene in the States and then also kind of what MKC does is that you, you really want to bolster the scene by getting casuals involved by hopefully there's there's players that are clicking on the Mario Kart 8 category on Twitch seeing this seeing some of the best in the world go out there but the cool part about Mario Kart is is that anybody can play it so it could be a five-year-old it could be uh, we have there's a guy I think we play with that that's 60 years old that's just just the man um, correct me if I'm wrong in 5k if you're in the chat he does lot, love to watch some of these streams he's either late 50s or early 60s and the really cool part is is that because like you mentioned squids with that RNG um, there's a low barrier to get in but it also does allow you to thrive if you know how to manipulate that RNG to your favor there is such a high skill gap as well with mm-hmm. with competitive Mario Kart so obviously you know there's a reason why there's certain teams certain players there at the top and it's because not only are they fast and they know the lines but they definitely know how to manipulate the items as well i think there's a lot um there's a lot to it than people initially um think as well because people who aren't familiar with um competitive mario kart you know when they hear mario kart they think oh you know just you just kind of race and then you get to the front and then you just win right but realistically it, it's far from that <laughs> right yeah and people are starting to take it a little bit more seriously now too just just i guess from like an outsider point of view from what i've noticed i know that uh, one of the tournament organizers in vegas he did this really thing with 
uh, a few PH people where we did a casual 6v6 against pro wrestler Xavier Woods. And, the, you know, there, there's a lot of, like, if you're looking on YouTube, like, if you're a big fan of Churley's, shout out to Churley's. I don't know if he's everyone's style, <laughs> but he did a reaction video to Mario Kart with Shaquille O'Neal where you can't see them playing, but they're reacting based off of it. They got hit and stuff. So there, there's a lot of stuff there. And then you got, you know, like your loyal content creators like Mank and, and some of the others in the space that are just, you know, strictly die hard, things like that. Oh, Ryan wants to know if I'm a WWE fan. Not really, not anymore. Um, I'm more of an AEW fan. But I don't really follow wrestling that much too, too often, but I think personally, now that I could get a lot of heat for this, but I don't really care. The, the scope of esports and I think we got to like MKC has to continue with the 6v6 side of things I think there also has to be good balance with FFA stuff as well like the solo circuits but um, the biggest thing I think to what you just mentioned squids is that you got to educate the outsiders that aren't in the scene um, just just how much more there is besides the RNG component to it and how much skill that there is involved despite the fact that it's in a good way, very entry level for anyone to come in and pick up the game. Because, yeah, once you start getting in free for alls and you start getting into the 6v6, uh, I think personally that it's not going to be like a league or anything like that. I think it could potentially be, and I'm saying this in a good way, the WWE of esports, where it's more for entertainment. Like that last semifinal was entertainment and those guys they were so skilled they made it entertaining but they they did it in a way where they utilized they showed off their skill you know it's very physical but there's also you know great lines and racing involved so that's just my my take on it preach dude <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that those those guys are are athletes nonetheless so we're going to be getting started here uh oh man my stream for zeb froze but yeah no, are, mine actually yeah, they're I'm getting right back think, into it here. I'm starting to think Zeb's uh, stream is suffering a little bit. Uh oh. Yeah, I think Zeb's stream just went down. Oh no. Well, technical difficulties, but <laughs> I think it's back. Oh, damn. Yeah, well, we might need to wait and get a sense of of what's going on there. Uh, but I, I think the racing is going on nonetheless. I'm sure there are yeah. other points of view kind of going forward zeb is offline you hate to see it um as you can see on the screen but we will Someone we will cinder cinder insert uh not cinder t insert elevator music right now play some persona five last surprise <laughs> oh we're gonna go to devotee so going to devotee Oh, I mean, yeah. I've literally, I've only just realized Zeb's stream is back up now. Is it? It is. It is. Yeah, and they're going to Wild Woods. So, depending on whose point of view we have, whether we stick with Zeb or not, Wild Woods is going to be, oh no, and he DC'd from, he DC'd from the oh, room. He DC'd from the room as well, so I guess his net actually did just die. So that's a big rip for him. Uh, we're seeing him watching Cinda, so that's like, two separation layers of inception right there okay, so, so, so i don't know should we just cast what we're seeing i guess <laughs> so i don't know we thought we were watching zeb and then we thought we were watching devotee and then we thought we were watching zeb again but we're actually watching cinder <laughs> so we're watching cinder and he got hit with some things let's just put it that way there's a red shell right up ahead of him here oh the bomb oh he somehow frame dodged that bomb and now doesn't get the double item boxer, so I think oh he does get it. Yeah, it's hard to tell because you don't see it in the top left. But he does have a star, and he does have another item secondary. That's going to be the triple shrooms. Any shock dodges? That is a shock dodge. I think that might have been a butt shock, because the only person who's behind Cinder when I say oh, person Zeeb. is the butt. So yeah. Well, yeah, Z the Z bot. The Z bot. <laughs> so this is crazy. So the top. Top four, you can see in your screen here, third place and second place both have shells. Something to keep in mind. Cinda does have this, does have the mushroom. You can obviously use for this cut coming up. Somebody gets hit. That's uh, an inward Waluigi player. Cinda's it's probably going to get second out of this. No, Maybe not. Oh, oh, he is? That red shell. I'm not sure if that was Reese or UUU who got first. Um, because one of the Waluigi inwards died. 
We don't really they know did. which one it was, because obviously name tags aren't a thing in spectating. Haha, <laughs> Nintendo fix your game. But, like, um, yeah, we'll have to see uh, with this upcoming scorecard. But either way, we're going into race two now. Zebra, a slight disadvantage from uh, missing the first race. but. And I guess since he did DC, right, he's going to get that plus three for for missing that one. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the uh, I'm looking at the Twitch chat right now. I don't think they're sure either. I I mean I think in the rules I'm looking it up. I believe they do get uh, do do a disconnection. Oh, they receive the player score. Is that right? It is. Oh, so so that, so like the bot score then? Yeah, they get the bot score according to section three in the rules underscoring. So I'm just gonna go with that. If, and there is one corrected. point because we don't see a one point in this uh in the scorecard and i think it turns out it was reese who did get first and it must have been you 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 he was hit down to uh eight actually so that was a very unfortunate on you use part but um well we have to remember that z does get plus one so it's, so the game is telling a slight lie but we'll roll with it That'll be easy to at least to, to factor yeah. in compared to what happened. If it's just one point. I think in, in the semifinal that you were in. But nonetheless, though, I, I kind of like the, the interesting choice of going, oh, man, lost all the momentum there. And then he got knocked <laughs> off again. But it's so still funny. early. It's I like still how, early. That was, I, I don't know why that was so funny to me. Uh, Zeb was about to fall off until so he breaks and, and is like really wary. And he's like, OK, well, let's get back on track. And he just gets bumped off anyway. I mean, you got to think about it this way, right? Kind of like if you're you're still in school. Um, one one twenty fourth is just a little bit above four percent, between four and five percent. So it's not going to affect uh, your score too much, but obviously the the compounding effect of of things like that. So as long as Eve doesn't have any connection issues, I mean that's going to be pretty easy to recover from, relatively speaking. You have to see if a. Uh... Zeeb can push his way up as he is currently in 8th place with a star. We do see 1st place getting hit off the glider. Uh, I'm not quite sure who that is, but... Yeah, lots of Waluigi's here, but he does have the, the triple shrooms. He's going to likely take the cut here. Oh, but a shock over the cut. Shots. Is he going to go back to get the rebound? Bounce back shroom, he does. And that also makes him full size too, so that's relatively helpful. You see Ace up there as well, fighting for first place with another Waluigi. Yeah, as you said, there's lots of Waluigi's. I know Waluigi Wiggler or Waluigi um, Inward is kind of a fan favorite combination to use. Um, not that surprised that we do see um, a few of them. We do see Kai getting taken out and Zeev getting um, chomped there and then starred off by Rookie as a very slow uh, descent down to the abyss. And it looks like that's, oh, that's a seal. Another here. star. That's just really unfortunate. So now this Zeeb is the is, last lap. Yeah, Zeeb's going to be on two points after two. That's not what you want to see, but I mean, that's just being Mario Kart it for you. If you mm. want to re rehash that, he essentially had his trip greens. He gets one of them lost to a sitting banana. And then he got hit with the piranha plant from one player, hit by rookie star. Then he got hit again by Audi star. And then... Yeah, then other stuff happened and he got 12. But that's just what you hate to see. It Can't looks like everything that happens in this game, so I think you've just kind of got to you've just got to um take it on the chin and just press on. We've still got uh, 22 more races to go. That's a very um very long amount of time to catch up. It is. Obviously, you know, it's it's better to be kind of cushion but we already saw with angel in the last last installment of those semifinals that doesn't matter you can you can lose all that if you have a bad string mm -hmm. of races and we're gonna go to devotee's pick here which is music park yet again one of his favorites so oh no maybe that was audi or, no just devotee they have very similar me's but <laughs> it's yeah they, they both have the same hair color same glasses everything just one of their heads is a little bit bigger but yeah gonna be interesting just seeing Zeeb now here. It's another Waluigi. Gonna be starting from the back. Uh, 
I'm not, I'm not quite getting a box as well, but you do see a lot of people getting taken out. What's happening? I was going back and forth between streams. He didn't even get a box and he's up to fourth place. Yeah, I saw I saw Travis, you, you, you. I saw at least three others that, that I saw. But granted, I'm sure that there were others. Kai, rookie, it's going to be, I think, Cinda, potentially Maxim up there. Uh, I'm not sure if Maxim is that other Roy. No, that's Audi. I always mix those two up for some reason. Audi's that other Roy. And, yeah, I think hoping to get a, a, an interesting pull here from this box. We might opt to hang on to this final green or use it here for this corner. Oh, Cinda, Cinda there gets hit. Cinda's going to be the one to fall Vixen to the bouncing green. Oh, Z. <laughs> oh, that could have been ugly. Yeah. You do see that Waluigi is slowly starting to break away. Oh, never mind. Commentator's curse. Here comes the blue shell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They're building up quite a distance during the lead. Oh, yeah. Here comes the blue right out there. So, unfortunately, that is going to be uh, hitting Kai there. One of uh, the two of the Japanese players, I believe, still left in this one. Red shell connecting to Zeeb. And that's going to be one of the Waluigi Yoshi bike racers. That's, I believe, yo, that was Travis. So, yeah. Travis ends up taking a hit out to Vodi and Neo there as well. And now Zeeb's back here in six. Gotta watch out for the blue. Wow, somehow doesn't get hit by that despite being close to the middle of the track. Okay, right. I just realized I've actually been calling Travis UUU this entire time. But they're the same person, right? Oh, wait, are they? Yeah. Wow, I, you know... Travis touchdown and then... I have I honestly just learned something today. And then T came in and was telling us it was a video game character. And then, yeah. I, it, this is the thing, you can't blink because you're going to miss all the action. Already lap three, huge scrum here from the middle of the pack. I don't know what just happened. I mean, a lot of people Zeeb just died. Tenth. And Zeeb, still, he, he just can't seem to find his first thing. And when he does, it, it just kind of seems like he's, he's just being pushed down again. There was like a photo finish for sixth there. Uh, so whoever got sixth, congratulations. That was, I think, Neo battling for that one. And again, it's very close, but Ace T-Man, though, has a five-point lead here over Kai. I mean, got to talk about the standings at some point. It's kind of at the point now where where, where things are getting a little bit relevant here, even though it's still early on. Um, but but that shy guy, that is not a, a pick you normally see in FFAs, but it's working out for Ace Team, man. He's the shy guy master, dude. And that's actually nice to see, because so often you, you see it's either just... Like, you know, Wario, Morton, Dry Bowser, just basically just all the heavyweights. So seeing seeing a, a lightweight, granted I don't think uh I don't think Shy Guy is a featherweight, I think Shy Guy is just a lightweight. Um, but like it's not like Ace is even using like a middleweight. So it's actually crazy just how he's managed to um to uh, to stay like so consistently good at this game whilst using a I don't want to say unviable character but definitely one you'd never really expect to see yeah and I mean I've, I've seen personally a lot of players that when I started prior to even having any knowledge of what a, what a meta character was I started off playing shy guy and immediately <laughs> regretted that and I, if I look at back at videos I will see that I was playing like a four-year-old compared to everybody here in MKC. And then I kind of switched into Morton and Inkling, and now I'm doing a little bit of Waluigi. So, well, I haven't even decided yet what, I'm, what I might play with tonight. But nonetheless, though, we're seeing Zeev, though, trying to chain that star. Does have that single shroom he's holding on to. Oh, is that a shock by Devoti? Or is it a star? I might be seeing things. I think it's a star. I haven't seen anything right, unless... Okay, yeah. Well, he hasn't gone oh, oh, right there, that's a coin. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if I was, like, a few seconds off on the, the broadcast, but... Uh, Audi there. Also, again, quick shout out there to uh, to Mitch from the Netherlands. Um, sent me a really cool message, and yeah, he, he did unfortunately get robbed. But he guess what? Get a good night's sleep because uh, rookie <laughs> factor, whatever that was, there on Music Park. But yeah, this plenty of time still here for Zeeb. Great pull there, and the the pack is so close that I can't expect anything too crazy to happen just yet. Yeah, just looking at the minimap, it really is difficult to tell um, who is where and where is who. <laughs> we do see a 
Ace back here in seventh. We see a Morton up in first. Uh, we know that Rookie is the Wario, so Rookie's up in second place right now. Now, Waluigi in the back with the star is a little bit concerning because he did have a little bit of a distance. There's the blue shell coming in. No so we're gonna... to Zeeb. And it, look, It's going to hit before the line, maybe? Oh, I don't think so, no. Uh, yeah, it was close. I don't think it did. Murders behind the line. And even with Shy Guy having that high acceleration stat, there right, isn't really much coming back from that one. Syndicai and Rookie. I'm not sure where Ace T-Man finished there, but he's now down to third. Ace T-Man, unfortunately, finished dead last. Oh, he got last. So that's huge because Cinda and Kai getting the one two, they're gonna move up. Yeah. And, and I was I was gonna um point out the amount of people who pulled triple greens uh, last set. There was Ace, there was Eve, and there was someone else. So barely anyone pulled uh shrooms in mid spots. And so couldn't take the cut. And so it was just all the people at the back um who managed to shroom up and actually get somewhat decent spots, especially considering how tight and close the pack was. Yeah, that's RNG for you. I mean, I don't know what else to say, but you know, this game does some interesting things sometimes, and that's why these guys are arguably the top 12 best in the world that can raise with us because they're the master manipulators of this stuff. And oh man, speaking to that, race five DYC, this is going to be pure chaos. I can imagine we'll be seeing a lot of people opting to bag once again. For the fabled Yoshi track. I really do love the design of this of this course. How the map is shaped like a Yoshi. Uh, Yoshi, excuse me. <laughs> so I mean, I'm not the smartest tool in the shed, but I'm not also like super dumb. But I remember Mikkel was mentioning that when he was casting, uh, probably during JDRF, to be very honest. So so not too long ago. Mm. And then I finally realized that this is in the shape of Yoshi. It so. is, yeah. No, the amount of people who I've um, found out didn't realize that up until like fairly recently honestly baffles me. Because um, admittedly, I only found out probably about a year ago, maybe two years ago. I'd probably say closer to two years ago. But it's hard if you don't really pay attention to the map. And if you like, well, that's a really clutch uh, dodge from Z. It sucks that he got a green shell, but, um, but yeah, if you don't pay attention to the map and. Uh, and, and the detail in it, uh, it can be hard to spot. For sure, yeah. And it took me about eight months to realize what that was. Ace Teeman, though, has that red. And now we're seeing the fire come out here for Zeeb. And there were about three dodges, roughly, for, for that shock. And uh, Travis was one of them. So he's moving up, I believe. Oh, he's already up to first right now, passing is, though, Audi. All the people at the back are going to be um, pulling bills and goals and stars and stuff. And Zeeb getting hit by that blue, that's just going to... That's not going to do any favors. And things are looking to just spiral from here. He is defenseless. No items whatsoever. Yeah, this is not a good position too. And especially, he's got to watch out from a real estate perspective with those bulls coming up. Oh, that... that Oh, no! Maxim took the box from him. If Maxim wasn't there and he got that box advantage, that would have been slightly more beneficial. But he's still in a relatively good spot. Look at top two as well, the break that first place has after dodging in that build. I can't remember who that was, but they got a three-way ticket to first place. Zeke's going to see what he can do with this build. Devotee's going to die at the line. I think he also passed Rookie for an eighth place. Mm. Yeah, Devotee got back there to ninth, but Reese there getting that first one followed by Audi. So now Reese tied with Kai. Two points back is Cinda, and this is really kind of expanding the... Horizons, no pun intended. I didn't even mean to make that pun <laughs> um, for for him. And really, it's a really close group. Top five separated by only eight points. It's definitely what you like to see. I guess everyone was wondering who I was there in the in the chat. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We'll see. Whenever I think of as we're going here into this, uh, I believe it's the seventh race. The one meme that I think of all the time is, have you seen um, Hot Ones with, it's the show where they eat chicken wings and they interview people? Um, I don't think so. Oh, well, it's phenomenal. There's a, there's a Paul Rudd meme where it's like, look at us. Who would have thought? That's always what I think of. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's like you have a sketch and night commentary or even Squid, you know, you being from, from AU previously, you know, it's a very, very interesting uh, story here. 
as to how we've all come into the community. So that's just what I think of all the time. Yeah. DP3 both... again. Yeah, wow. The amount of time we've seen uh, this track, it's insane. Um, but I was going to add, I think about two, maybe three years ago, when the game really first came out. I mean, I've been in the Mario Kart 8 community since like 2015, uh, since back when uh, Merciless was a clan. Um, and. Well, when like Deluxe came out, I was kind of hovering over not really knowing what I wanted to do, and um, quite a lot of people didn't know who I was. And only it's only really like the past two years where I've kind of started to expand my reputation in this community. And granted, it's still not the biggest thing. Um, you know, uh, I'm glad that I uh, have definitely joined this community, um, and it's good to see all of us uh, participating in events like this one and also having a good time. Yeah, absolutely. There was a lot going on right there with some greens that were avoided, and looks like Zephyr ninth has the start. Oh no! Oh, no. The no. shot comes in, and man, two bagging tracks you could argue. Well, back to back, where Z just gets the short end of the stick there. Uh, luckily, he does have a bullet, but honestly, a bullet on DP3 is not ideal. Yeah. You're not going to be able to leverage this, the cut, but. I mean, however, if you look at the pack, it's very, very close. So this bill, if he uses it right, it's going to do wonders. We do see loads oh. of people stirring up. And a lot of people got hit. He does lose a little bit there when it had that turn. But hey, third place from third that. Third place is not bad at You all. can't complain. I want Sinto to say that's, takes the win. I want to say that's Zeeb's first real good result. Because as you can see, even after that third place, he's still in last. Well, obviously with 26 rather than 25. But what can I say? A start yeah, is a start. It, and that's crazy too because like I know Zeeb. Oh yeah, it's HDZ, right? Like I've warred against him a few times. And he's a very good player. And to see him and just get this moment where I see him at 25 points, granted it's 26 because of his DC, only in 12, but just, it's just crazy. So it's good that a unique situation like that kind of, I guess temporarily is, has maybe righted the ship for him, so to speak. It's a PH pun. But he now, hopefully this will trend for him to get some higher finishing races. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Kind of choked on my own, on my own, my own words there. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see if uh, Zeb can carry this momentum that he's slowly uh, starting to build into these um, into these next races, because God knows he needs it after being uh, what is that twenty six after six. Uh, yes, that's not really it is. where you want to be, especially considering you're against some of the best players in the world. And we're a quarter of the way through, so yeah, still plenty of more racing to come. About 18 more races to go. Cinda taking the early lead here with Devoti, and uh, and yeah, so I know there's someone in the chat who's wondering. Um, yeah, I'm I'm Knight from PH, uh, I'm a Vegas commentator as well for Mario Kart. So 150 CC is kind of. Right up my alley, and look at that. Kind of got stuck in the post. That was he unfortunate for Steve, but that. no. And so now, you know, luckily he's kind of in the orbit with Rookie here, so he can kind of probably knows how he plays just ever so slightly from, um, you know, just all the teamwork that those two are a part of. Audi has always been kind of around Zeb in this one to a degree. It's been a player kind of all over the board, but it's been it's always kind of finishing up towards that top top end, and then Devotee's trying to hope to. To just recover from that unfortunate incident of whatever he got hit from on DYC. So, yeah. seeing him there, Ace Team and all those guys narrowly avoiding that green. I do believe Devotee is actually. I'm not sure if he's the only one, but I think Devotee is one of the people who have come basically from the bottom, uh, just straight from round one, and just climbed and climbed and climbed. And now here he is in the grand finals yeah so this is an interesting pull here got the blue shell followed up by the star i would throw it here yet yeah, and get that star activated um so got that acceleration and now bullet coming up alongside zeb here that's going to be maxim who who plants himself into fourth team in there in third cinda uh actually oh wait what am i thinking zeb is an eight so team in <laughs> there is in six i don't know where i got that information i'm just I think I'm rooting for Zeb, hoping that he does better, uh, but it, it's pretty wild right now. Yeah, and we see Kai back here. I'm going to guess that's actually Reese up in first right now. He was a nice little breakaway. 
obviously nothing to um, to get excited about uh, because as we see, first place does get taken out. This plant behind, uh, in front of his shrew, and that's kind of unfortunate. We do see lots of people uh, getting hit with the plant, oh. however. Wow, Z, Z like got chased down by Kai there, and unfortunately couldn't outrun the Japanese player in the star, and so he's going to get taken out, down to eighth place. So rookie passes, Reese there. Cinda maintains a four-point lead. Kai, uh, still in the picture there. I believe he finished mid-pack. Had that good little body check there on Zeeb. So, for, yeah, just it's it's still kind of crazy just seeing how close it still is, uh, despite that we're a little bit over the quarter of the way through. So, something to kind of keep an eye on here. I can't believe it's already the finals. And that this has been going on for me since oh man, since 8 a.m. Pacific time. Just goes to show you, I mean, how how entertaining this whole format is. And I know that this, the 150 cc side of things, had that extra layer with the opening round before the quarterfinals kind of made it really interesting. So we really saw some names today kind of rise up to the top. Um, I remember I was talking to Green last night and he was thinking of contemplating entering. And I was like, you know what? There's 42 players signed up. I woke up this morning. There were 48 exactly. So despite not even playing around to the solo circuit, he just got into the scene about five months ago. He was able to get one of those la literally the last spot into this. So um, mm -hmm. Just goes to show you, if you guys are participating in this throughout the the course of this entire year, you, you could have seen yourself here today. Not to mention, uh, could have been in for a chance of winning the $50 Nintendo eShop card. <laughs> that is that is pretty, pretty sweet. Um, yeah. Really, it would be cool, too, um, to, to see if we can get potential sponsors, because that's just what's so alluring about some of these tournaments. Like, I know tonight, if I somehow even lose in the finals i'm at least walking away with about 40 to 50. so um you know it'd be cool to scale it up but obviously it's vegas for you um you know and, and they're gonna have one too coming up that's about a 1300 prize pool 1250 wow, i think dude. so it's pretty wild i mean we've, we've seen like super effects from hd out there we've seen hobby and it's really cool seeing a lot of these these names pop up nice definitely we do see uh, Zeeb holding onto his star for quite a while. Not quite sure what he's up to. Is he going to chain here? I wouldn't expect so. Oh, he is going to chain. He did. Okay. Well, do each their own, I guess. <laughs> his streams are going to get just yoinked the moment he pulls them out. And his plant's going to kind of fuse into the wall there. I'm not quite sure what's up with that. Uh, <laughs> Cinder's going to pull out triple reds. Uh, this plant, though, is not going to quite connect with any of, them, uh, any of the reds. Reese coming up in a bill, now playing out a star. Yeah, that play with the, the cool. plant was a little bit questionable, but we're, we're going to the tail end of this lap. Hopefully he gets a good secondary item here. He, he was far enough away, he gets another star. The thing was is that he kind of hit the wall and I thought he was going to time it right, but he still went into that item box uh, right before the tail end of that turn. A little bit more time left on his plant, so he didn't get the best, um, I guess, area of items. Ace T-Man gets blue shell on the turn. He first. I don't honestly, I'd honestly be impressed if he, he does. He might. He does. The good job to T-Man. We do see uh, a few Waluigi's die at the line there. That was Reese, unfortunately. Cinda gets Ace third, though. Zeeb somehow yeah. recovers the seventh, which honestly I think is impressive considering the circumstances. But yeah, I think Cinda, though, getting that third just increases his lead ever so slightly. And still makes him a threat there at the top. And I know it's a. Uh... Go ahead. <laughs> um, I was just I was just gonna say uh, we still do have a few races left, and so. Um, <laughs> Is that what you were gonna say? That's what I was gonna tell you. Wait, we're what? on our way out pretty soon. <laughs> um. But, but yeah, we still do have uh, lots of races left. Even if we are like, what, I think coming up to a third of the way through. Uh, whilst I think, I don't think Zeeb is in 12th place anymore after the rough start he had. Uh, he's he's in 11th. Maxim DC. Oh, so Maxim with a DC. I think We'll have to get clarification on I that. I think Maxim actually was the person who uh, was in last after that race. So... But yeah, there's well, still, what, how many races? That was race eight, so that actually was... Um, this the, is nine. Yes, yeah, so We're the, the third way mark. We're also four four races away from a caster change, where 
Yes. Uh, Michalicious. I don't know if I've heard that as a nickname. Don't know if that's his or not. <laughs> along with uh, along with Teeps, they'll be finishing out the final 12 races. But it's been a pretty wild ride so far. Yeah. And still a lot of threats there up at the top that got to keep an eye on. I think that might be Neo in first who's changed to his me. I can't quite remember what Neo's me looks be. like, but I think it's I think that is Neo. Um, well, we'll be able to see regardless at, towards the end of this race. Zeb is actually not going to use his last little bit of his golden to cut the grass there. Maybe because he wants to stay. Uh, yeah, just like that, he wants to stay um, far away to get a like a really good power item like a bullet bill, which he does. Um, end up getting so if, if he does manage to dodge a shot with this bill, ah, that was unfortunate. Um, yeah, there's something coming because because of the way that those those bottom three there's were. There's a shot. Like, there it is. But the thing is, rookie is not using anything either. So what does rookie have? And the thing is, I don't was, know. You don't want to dodge anyone because you can't really use this now because look at the amount of people in stars. Right, and they're they're aware of it, and, and I'm sure Rookie's aware of it. There, there it that goes. That was a very good shot, you should. I, I don't think anyone dodged. Not only that, but a good couple people got target shocked as well. Not gonna get the double there. Only a bomb. So he's gonna have to. He's gonna have to. Oh, oh no! The lag trail. Yeah, that and that one item was was something just to kind of keep an eye on. That was a little bit concerning. Man, only finishes eighth and. Man, if that double was free, whoever that was that screened him, I want to see if I can. That was um, that was Travis, yeah. I think, who did manage to get first. So I think if Zeb didn't get trailed there, that would have been a pretty uh, free first. But yeah, um, the thing is, I think Zeb expected to get a shroom from the box, which is why he went towards the NISC. But then when he realized he only got a bomb rather than a shroom, um, he he just had to back out because obviously his star was about to run out. He, I run out so he didn't have enough um time to get to the nisc yeah he didn't and and hindsight's 2020 20 again but what i would have done now looking back is is knowing where some of those mushrooms fell when he when the shock was activated maybe tried to have there were some off to the right not in the preferred line obviously but if he was able to kind of hit hit one of those and then position himself to get a little bit of a, a boost ahead of Travis, then then he could have activated his star just a tad bit later. So regardless of what he would have gotten, whether he got the double or not, he still would have had enough length on his star to at least get him a little bit past kind of where he bobbed a little bit. He got hit, mm. I forget by what, but th there was also the, um, the oil spill there yeah. too, where obviously you got to avoid that. So he kind of danced around that 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 finish so to speak and it could have been a little bit helpful if he just had a little bit more length on that star and there's situations like that as well where it just goes to show like how important these tiny decisions really are and how much of an impact they have on the race like as you said um if he did just use that star a little bit later and managed to make it to um to the final cut and get first place that would have been well obviously 15 points and zeb getting eighth that is a huge uh, point difference. And now that's just a... Uh... Well, I don't want to say, um... whoa, we drifted out here. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't want to say, like, changed everything drastically, but I don't know, first and eighth, that's a pretty big difference. And Zeb really did need that first to get back into the swing of things. Yeah, I think you just mentally, just given the fact that this is a little bit longer, you need to block that out. Um... Someone in Las Vegas told me that the holy trinity of regret was if, could, and should. So you got to remove those words from your vocabulary, especially after some of the things that are happening throughout this tournament here for Zeb. Whoa. You know, he could have done this. He should have done this. But this is a great yeah. bullet, and then he's following this up with a star. So let's see if this extends for him. I'd also like to highlight uh, <laughs> that Nakan did try to go for like a clutch knife on Cinder. But unfortunately, uh, the only thing the only face that um, the green shell met was Nakan's own, uh, Nakan's own face, which kind of sucked for him. So I think Nakan is now back down to last. And I think Nakan was the one who threw that blue at the DK in first place. So they're going to go down unless they have a horn. Yeah, I believe uh, Nakan is in 11th. There's another Roy back there who just started up that might have something else secondary as well. Keep an eye on. Rookie there in fifth, dragging that red, but opts to throw it forward there to T-Man. And I'm not sure if that connected. Fire coming from, that might have been Acer. Send a oh. shock, TS, a few of them off the glider on the right. 
There was another Roy that got connected there as well. There's a blue shell. That's more than certainly going to connect. Oh, they're all going to play the waiting game up there. You, you better believe that. And unfortunately, Look that is at the this case. Mini -map. Yeah, because what happened was they all stopped before the item boxes. Everyone was basically screening the item boxes from themselves. Z see, gets we, another eight, but we do man. see a few people die behind the line, and I think it was either Kai or Neo. I think Neo, and it's just when the when the pack is so tight, you just I mean obviously it's you can't control everything that happens in this game, um, most definitely. But getting hit right behind the line, especially when the pack is so tight, that's just devastating. Yeah, so Cinda's still in the lead here in this one. Rookie gets that win. He's still in third overall. Ten points back from Cinda. And then, I believe it's Kai in second? But I'm, I'm not entirely not sure. It switched sure. Yeah. Switched to off. And there's just so much going on. <laughs> that uh, for sure, uh, Mikel and, and Teeps are going to have a fun time with these with these final 12 races. But Big Blue, we haven't seen that come out all day. And, and that's a pick here in this one from somebody. Yeah, I know Big Blue is um, a track that the newly formed, uh, the newly formed Cherish loves to pick. Um, so it's nice oh, to see, it... nice to see it get, uh, nice to see it getting a, at least a little bit of representation, even if it's not actually gonna pick it. Uh, still nice to see um, Cinder up to go for it. Very true. We're going to TikTok clock. That is HT Man in second. I don't know why I forgot so much about him. He's one of the more notable. Uh, <laughs> he is right. shy guy, well. is what I was told. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can barely see him. He's this little tiny black black character there. Just trying to do a lot of damage right now to Z. Outlines him there for and bumps him out of the turn. So Z here is going to be kind of critical to see what he can get here from this next item box. So that's, that's if he does get one, which he does. And it's going to be double shrooms. I'm not really sure how I feel about that because that's no protection. I feel like you, it would would have probably been better off to get one shroom and at least one bit of protection because you never really know if people behind you in like fourth or fifth are going to pull a red or triple greens or something. But I think it still works out in Zeev's favor. You don't seem to see much coming his way offensively, apart from that green, which is going to connect with two people. Yeah, buy one, get two special there on that green. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty wild, and especially, too, when you're when those two mushrooms, and then you see first and second both have defense. It's a little bit dilapidating for you. That's that's the word. But, you know, it, now, luckily, you know, things have kind of cycled through. Now, you, you, you here is in first, but not much you can do there, especially, too, when they can kind of backspam you and, and realize if those players are leveraging their back camera that they have the advantage in that situation. Oh, this bomb, the Zeeb. This can take a lot of souls. Oh, he got lucky not to get some some netcode smart bounce there from that <laughs> hand of the clock. Uh, so very lucky there. Final lap here, though. He does opt to throw the red. Does it connect to Travis? Oh, it does the green! Get it. Man, this, these final turns are just killing him. But so two people, or one falls off there. So we'll have to see this as lag or whatever's happening. Oh, that was a weird trick. Yeah, it gets fifth. I am really surprised he still managed to clutch out a fifth place there, considering how much uh, went down. And Cinder, it just seems like Cinder, with every single race, is is just extending that lead. He He's finding a way to break into the top three every time, whether he's somehow immune to items. Uh, obviously, it's it's his skill, but but who knows what you can attribute that to with, with the way things are just... I don't know, he might be hacking. <laughs> the way things are breaking down, you know, it, it's pretty wild. So, oh man, here come here come Mikel and, and uh, the Teebles here. I don't know if, if, if this is the end of the line for us, if we're one away. Uh, the action is just too crazy right now to, to to decide. So, I guess this is our last race before we bid our fans adieu. All right, let's hope it's a good one. Please don't pick Cheeseland. I swear to God, if it picks Cheeseland... Oh no! You can't... Oh, oh wait, wait. Okay, oh, you know what? I I'm fine with PPS. Now, last time Reese picked this, uh, he actually managed to take home the victory. He did. And, yeah, uh, that was in the semifinals. Yeah, and the lovely 15 points that this track has to offer. The question is, can he do it again?
We'll have to see. I'm not sure where he's specifically starting from in this one. I believe it is it could be could be a little bit farther back, but I know he is uh I believe one of the Roy's, if I'm not mistaken. There I he think... is. Uh oh oh, is he? I'm not sure. He's mid pack he's right in. now. Yeah, I know he's inward. I don't know if he's a Waluigi or Roy, because I know he does switch between the two. But um thinking of him and LMDS, because LMDS switched between yeah. Roy Ouch. and uh Waluigi. Banana was unfortunate. Uh, and they can just finding think, uh, finding the pit there and respawning on top of Zeb whilst uh, having triple bananas circulating around him. So it didn't really work uh, work out for Zeb. Uh, getting his box just snatched as well. Yeah, item screen there, not ideal. That's going to be Devotee. The snickering as he goes on by there in 11. But yeah, this is kind of that point where you know that this is what happens a lot um you know with what i see on saturday nights is you, you got a guy in the finals oh, oh boy this changes things is a shock in 12th place and that is that is um a really good target shock uh target shock area in this course but that blue might mess things up a little bit. oh he's gonna go uh, for the maximum amount of damage here oh, you know you, he is. yeah you can bet he's gonna use it now. right now Yep. Oh, that is a lot. Of, <laughs> that is a lot of deaths. Yeah, hopefully everyone has some insurance because they are yeah, if there's like a falling death counter, and they cannot get would, up right now. I would love to see that. Now, the thing is, that kind of uh, equalized the field out, but Zeb is still here in 10th. But all I was uh, saying before was, you see Cinda there in 9th. You're going to need things like that to really negatively impact that player that's running away with it if you are second on back. And we ha there's a really solid player. He's actually, I think, trying to get recruited by Ark. I don't know if that's a real thing or not. Um, his name is Samuel, and the guy is very good in, uh, from a free-for-all standpoint, at least. And you run into that situation a lot where I think Sind is now 18 points ahead. You're going to need to end his day for anyone to mathematically get a chance here to, to run this yeah. back. Damn. You that hate red to see going it. for Zeb. The first one he could oh, and the but the second one... Not so much, and once again, as you know with this game, comboing, com uh, comboing is kind of a, it's kind of just a thing in this game, and so unfortunately finding, finding the unfortunate 12th place there. Speaking of 12th, that was the 12th race, and I think me and Knight will be taking our leave, and, inst and instead we will be replaced by Mikkel and Teeples, the Arcadia boys. Yep, and I think the one thing I just want to end with is Rookie got first there. Cinda somehow got third, despite being in ninth at the beginning of lap number three. So the the gap has shortened by like a few points. I think it's a 12-point gap, but yeah, just pretty wild. And unfortunately, that is the end of the line for us. Uh, you can catch me at SNS tonight if you watch that. But if not, I'd highly recommend obviously watching the final 12 races here of this like incredible final that we have and see if Cinda can hang on. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see who wins it. But yeah, night as always. It's been a pleasure. And uh, I'll catch all of you guys later. Peace out. Sounds good. Yeah, we're going to be taken over here by Mikel and Teeps. And we will see you all next time. Bye. Deuces. All right, boys. What is back. up, gamers? We are back. Teeples and Shigai, thank you for um, Knight and Squids for doing the first half. We will be closing it out here. And we do have a pretty interesting event so far. Um, Cinda does have a bit of a lead, but there is a chance that he can get clapped and we can bring this closer. Uh, that last race was kind of widened the gap a bit as the top four people in the room did get top four positions. So we are starting to get a little breaking away here, but... I mean, at the same time, you got a full war left, so it's definitely not totally over at this point. You might have some like wear out, some people like mentally just getting tired. Yeah, 24 races straight is definitely not, uh, in an FFA format, is not something that very commonly happens. Uh, we see Ace is going for the running option, which he did do, seem to do on a lot of more begging type tracks on DAC there we saw and uh, RMC. So it's kind of been working out for him. So this is kind of a true test on whether that truly will work out here because this is kind of the most extreme. Okay, you're a little ahead of me. Alright, just uh, press pause and start right now. Shot coming in as well. That does, that should cancel with your ace. I didn't see many people dodge, but Zebra right now is double dodges as well and coming in at eight. 
So he just spammed the star and the boost. That might hurt him in the long run for just a little bit. Yeah, we do see Rookie and Senda evenly here in the middle, which are both fighting for the top two right now. But Waluigi does pass him first. In theory, that could be Reese also, oh, but we Travis. don't know. Travis is DK, but yeah. Oh, all right. Then... So I take. I don't think that's an option here. Oh, I wish it was, but but it's not. Wait, Snake can have a shock. Oh wait, no. That, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. He kind of um, got my hopes up. Ace is yeah. still second after running the whole time. We'll see what happens. Of... Like, if you look at this pack, it's. Whoever's yeah, a lot of people are. If if you don't have like cuts to take the double with you, you're kind of. I think Z should have held on to that. Yeah, I think he should have held on. He might not pull shrooms. He did get. Yeah, he did get the shrooms. Cinda looks like he's Travis gonna have another good race. Line, unfortunate for him. It could have been a Reese first though. For Maxim. No, it is Maxim. So Cinda's just widening the gap even more. So yeah. our top we got four people with the Hundo cracks. Kai's kind of making a statement, getting up in here now, but. People are gonna really have to hit Cinda. This is kind of mm -hmm. can't let this carry on much longer. He's just starting to break away. It's his event to lose right now. Exactly. But yeah, the goal for all these people should be to hit Cinda. As rude as that is, you can't win the event if you do not pass Cinda. So Cinda should be the prime target, especially for all these people in like two, three, four, five. But it's definitely his event to lose at this point. So we'll see if he's able to hold on. Honestly, the thing I'm the most shook at is that Zeeb's actually picking tracks now. Hard, <laughs> yeah, and it looks like we're going to be going to TM just because it was voted. So it's most <laughs> likely the scenario. Uh, we're like actually getting the actually. dentist. Yeah, that's hype. Thanks, Rookie, for dodging TM. Appreciate it. Imagine being race 14 and no TM yet, by the way. Just going to throw that out there. Yeah, we're on race negative two right now. So this is an HD special track too, so this should be good for Cinda and Rookie, who are both the people I need to beat, so they're both pretty, pretty confident with their abilities here. Mm -hmm. So we will see if they're able to capitalize on that. And Cinda has a chance to even widen the gap even more with a good race here. Rookie does seem to get hit at the start, not necessarily a terrible thing to be back here at the start, so not the end of the world for him. I wonder if he's gonna go for the shock or just like get good items and catch up. Though he has been pretty lucky with the shock situation on both sides of the coin today. So yeah, we do see Ace in second. A couple people just appeared back on the mini map for me. Just a bit of lag there. So we do have a Roy top two. Ace looks like he's trying to take over second. That potentially could be Cinda in first right now. I feel like it is to be honest. So we might need a blue shell in play here to help even things out. Do you know who's in last right now? Or... I have no idea who is in last place position currently. I want to say that Cinda is first, though. Who's Travis is overtaking right third. There's a lot of people slowing down. Cinda this could help. I oh, know Cinda is back here, so it is not Cinda in first. Six rooms, so Might like have been Devotee then. Could track. have been Devotee. Oh, yeah, true. It's probably Devotee. See. We are. Rookie is getting up there. Rookie has taken a demanding first place. Ace keeping. Again, we have the people at the top in top positions again. Uh, Ace able to connect the this horn there. Go. These triple Reese reds are going to. Reese is. Reese, Reese is looking kind of scary. Right yeah, it's kind of scary right now. Uh, and again, we got a top two people are two of the threats right now. Maxim not really oh, has much going did, for him did, anymore. Did spawn stuff or did Rookie drop a bomb? I don't know, but Reese is out of the equation, and Rookie is track pick, so right now looks like it's going to work out perfectly for him. He's got Ace back there too, which helps, although the main thing is he needs, he needs Cinda back here. This could very well be... Devotee that is Devotee. Devotee taking the double from Zeeb too. That's going to hurt, because everyone's going to be pulling shrooms here with the distance that Rookie had. And Rookie, and that is also not Cinda. Cinda is ending in the bottom half, so that is a great start for Rookie. Ace is as well, here. so that basically just helps him out a ton and yep. uh looks like a gap is although 10 points so got what eight we might be having an races. hd showdown here between cinda and rookie honestly i've never seen rookie pop off this hard before so i'm kind of hyped for him <laughs> man is going in right now cinda going big blue see if it pays off we got the um, factory, but do we have a meat lock? <laughs> they got Tiamma. Uh, got the Travis, the Travis touchdown highway reveal. Be kind of hype to see how that hand goes down. TT toad turnpike. 
Yeah, Travis Turnpike. <laughs> Got the random bombs. Getting less of them, which is nice, but... Mm -hmm. Still here and there. Time. I think we're going to Cheap Cheap Beach. Just kidding. Uh, we're going to the exact opposite climate. Rumble Volcano. And, uh, I mean, I think this... I think this would work out for Ace pretty well since it's a drafting track and also you can just kind of like spam MTs since there's a lot of turns. Yeah. So I can see why he'd pick it. But at the same time, there's a lot of scooties in the room too. Yeah, Rookie's going to need to pull a defense first item here or this might be a rough race, honestly. But hopefully he's able to avoid the first set coin because it's really easy to get hit out of first. He does get the coin. Kai does have the red, but will he be able to connect it is the question. It does not look like he will. So Rookie will be able to keep his first place here, which is absolutely massive keeping first here after the first set. We do see Zeebs trying to play from the back again. We do see a, a little bit of another, another Roy too. back here. Uncertain Sinner also who that back is. here in ninth, but it's only lap one, so... I yeah, if the, if the race ended right now, Rookie would take over the lead by a point. We do Reese's back here going for know. the bagging route now oh, as well. Whoa. Z, but the shot, dude. This man is just a you shot. You gotta put him on condies, man. This kind of yeah. Sucks. This man needs to be on conditionals at this point, honestly. <laughs> I, I'm not. But... This, <laughs> he's gonna bring this. Uh, up. He's, he's gonna, gonna have this. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna have. Be yeah, he's gonna have a podium shock right now. It's kind of poggers. <laughs> See what happens though. It's kind of a yog champ moment. Ooh. Yeah, he does do the chain in fourth. Oh, These kids behind dodge. him are just like what? Wait. He got rookie is in first. Forward. There is a blue. The blue's probably gonna go for Zeep though. Unless, no, no, he's, he's gonna, gonna get it, it to no, go wait, for no whoa. rookie is able wait, to go. No, oh, rookie got blue too. The blue split yeah. the double HD KFC double down right there on that blue shell. <laughs> <laughs> and Zeeb does pull a bomb in first. Yeah, see you later, Rookie. Or Zeeb oh, is knowing scary. to be Rookie's, like, guy who just always fucks up. Oh, mess, oh it's 3-3. Three, three. Who, who always messes over Rookie. But Rookie is able to get out of the bomb that time. And Kai is looking sus here at these triple shrooms, though. Will Zeeb punish him? He's probably going to hold on to it. Just, you know, keep your top three. You don't know what's behind you right now. Well, rookie kind of going in today. Yeah, Rookie is a man of action right now. And it's looking good for him. There's already been the shock. There's already been the blue. So you want to believe there's not going to be any more of those going on here. But you never know. Zeb is also going to hold back this Kai in second with the red shell. Kai's not going to want to get super aggressive on Rookie either, knowing that. No, Kai's a shrewd, so you can take over first. But I'm he not can, sure. But a second place enough. is still massive for Rookie, though. Even if Kai does rob the first. I'm not sure if Kai robbed it. Kai might have nah. failed the cut, actually. Yeah, I think Kai, Kai did failed the fail. cut. So Rookie is adding another W to that resume, and we do see quite a few Roy's in the mid, so Cinda could be back there. Travis coming in too. Travis coming in huge. We only yeah. have five people cracking on still. I, th I, th I think it's really only the top four that are left in this window. I mean, it's high key the top two, but... <sighs> yeah, Rookie is uh definitely putting on a clinic here, so... Whew. I don't know, I feel like we need to uh, make some incentives to make this more competitive right now. Oh, uh, meat locker by Z! Let's go! Keep going, the meat go, locker! Boys. Oh, baby, let's go. You love to see it. <laughs> Zeeb is dropping the meat locker live. I love three, it. I don't know how to feel about these three randoms, though. Honestly. Three randoms is unfortunate, but it doesn't matter because we're due for Twisted Mansion anyways. But And it's on a random two is the sad part. No, it's big blue. It's big blue. Sorry, bud. Oh, <laughs> no. Well, uh, Cinda, a former XI member. This is one of XI's. Strata detracts back when they used to play. So. But yeah, Reese and... Uh, Ace team man are starting to look a little like they're losing their chance, mm -hmm. but um, Kai is uh definitely still in the running there too. He's only like twenty back of first, so definitely not definitely someone you want to keep on your radar. Ace and Reese could come back, but I wouldn't really have them on my target radar at this point. Mm -hmm. But Kai, you definitely want to keep Kai back there still because everyone knows how much of a threat Kai is. He's won tons of different stuff before yeah, and he's stone picks. a very very talented racer yeah, he might have the biggest arsenal of stone pictures so you <laughs> never know actually that's probably monar but we do see nick can wants to get up there make a point get some puntos on the yeah, table there is a bomb that knocks a lot of people that's gonna help zeba lie he's gonna have a decent lead in first now but it is big blue so there's a 50 percent chance blue rate at the next box coming up so 
He's going to have to hope he doesn't win that. Ace is in second, which is actually the perfect spot to be right now, especially when Zeeb has a bit of a lead. He might be able to get a decent item at the double here in second, and Zeeb will be the catalyst to take the blue shell if it comes to. So Ace is looking pretty good right now. He might get. Oh, he gets connected with the backspam, though. Yeah, he does get connected with the backspam. It's going to hurt a lot, and we do have a boo in play. Zeeb mm -hmm. may be getting redded here, but his lead's so yep. big, he can Oh, he's getting redded off? Yes. And he gets redded off, and he's, the blue's going to... And the eight. blue's gonna hit Ace because of that. Ace getting absolutely punished for that. That you hate to see it, honestly. Ace really could have used that, that first bomb. place there. Nakan able to dodge the bomb. Devo oh, Zeb saves Devotee from the red, and Ace is also gonna get fired. So Ace is just not having a good time <laughs> right now. Uh, his event may have just got ended this race, honestly. At least chances of winning. Travis right. coming up though, kind of hype. We do see, see some Roy's up there, so you don't know what happens. Like Cinda and Rookie kind of got the hand, so Kai's kind of like, increasing. yeah, Kai's kind of like, you know, kind of coming up here. <laughs> up. Yeah, well, I think this is. I feel like that just knocked off four or five's potential to come back. I think this is a top three now. Yeah, Ace really needed that W. That blue going for Ace after the red off hurt a lot. He would have had the first most likely, so that is gonna hurt a lot for Ace there, and you hate to see it. But it is what it is. Zeb is not opting for the meat locker anymore. You hate to see it, but yeah, gotta do what you gotta do. Some going with some cheap, cheap action. Also, yeah, the, the so vintage wheelies pick you gotta love. Yeah, we're kind of due for desert. It's been long. It's been too long. Uh, like, like I hate to say. Oh, yo! <laughs> Can't say it. Yeah. Cannot say yeah. it. <laughs> Cannot say it. But we have a shy guy falls on the board, which I don't think we've seen today. So I kind of hope it lands on that. Get a bit of interesting action going on, and we may actually get it. No, nope, little GG's. Bro, random. Oh, random so ribbon. Positive. Rookie so is popping is off right now. Off. Yeah, he is in the chat popping off. And with Cinda, too. So Kai's got to be, like, a little disappointed at that random, to be honest. Because both the HDs and top uh, top two overall, and they get a random dentist. It looks like they did not quite get their fillings at the first visit, and they got to go back. <laughs> but just, Wait, uh... Like the... Whoa. Did not know that. Um... Yeah, so Zeb just gonna do the same approach, I guess, as the previous race. It's a, what did he get? He got fifth last time. Something like that. He finished in the middle, I believe. We do see Travis taking the early lead here. Rookie up there too. You see a couple Roy. All the Roys are like mid back, so Rookie definitely has the advantage right now over Cinda. Rookie will be taking first. Also to note, he is not streaming, so he might not fall off in first. He does get hit though. <laughs> it's all on Zeb. And Ace is up there. We do see Cinda back here, so that's what you want to see if you're Rookie. Assuming he does not dodge the BAM. Rookie does get hit, though, so he is also back here. So this could be a big race for Ace. He could maybe punch himself away back in this if Ooh, Rookie and Zeeb die and he gets up there. Pulling out the red on the crazy eight. Might be able to do some damage to Cinda here, but I doubt it. Cinda. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure where, uh, where Kai is. Oh, is he... for us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think Zeeb is not like almost every single shot. Vintage Zeeb Bammy baby. So we do have Yo, Kai Nakin in first, here. though. Nakin popping off. So Kai, yeah, Kai up here, but it's going to hurt. Uh, Zeeb, yep, does not get the unoptimal bump. Still, still a two more. Dodges the bananas. Oh, he gets the turn boomerang back. That is a lot harder than it should be to connect those and actually break the red. So good on Zeeb for that. He will be keeping first place. We do see Ace near the middle. We do see Rookie in last right now, Billing. Zeeb, Zeeb does have throws. a mishap. He is, yeah, he is, he is vacuuming the carpet there, so, for a bit, but... Actually, I'm pulling the first plate. Hopefully got some crumbs off, at least. But he's know? getting blued immediately after going the first, so right now I think this is Zeeb's race to lose, but... Now there's gonna be some mushrooms, <laughs> and it happened! When you're Imagine. streamer and first on Ribbon, you just, you, you, you never win. Like, you just legally have to fall yeah, off. Yeah, you legally have to fall off. Ace up here could do something, Cinda up here, too. This Stand pack is fire. tight! You see Rookie here it's too. Rookie in the first. Rookie gets hit by the fire. That's going to be devastating for Rookie. Ace is also dead. Not sure yeah, what happened with Kai might, and Cinda. Might be the race where Cinda just. Yeah, Cinda Kai points. gets ninth too. Cinda just Although, made a statement that a race. Yeah, so it's not as bad. I would say it's only top three at this point, though. I think Ace is kind of done yeah. from having a chance at winning in fourth now, but he can definitely still fight for a podium position for that nice metallic color on the player profile. <laughs> Still up for grabs for sure. 
the water grind. Yeah, I love water. Water is the most <laughs> underrated thing on earth. After chicken, well, no, I'm not gonna say it because they're because they're not underrated because everyone knows they're good. But well, we do have a water park on the track selection as well. Yeah, um, meat lockerless tournament, by the way. I'm fine with that if it means justice is served, which it probably won't be. But I'm kind of feeling not sure of it, man. Today, honestly. I haven't seen that in a while. I'm kind of due for the pike. I or the Travis the Turnpike. Yeah, we're getting the Travis Turnpike. So Maxim coming back after that DC, able to take... Yeah, I forget how many points he had before the DC, he but it's... He's on like race 6 or 8, I think. So he's definitely been putting in the work since then. Yeah, because if anyone in the chat knows how much Maxim had at the DC, we can maybe get a little more intel. Maxim could low-key maybe be putting himself in this if we know. But I feel like he's still too far behind. He did. I think he had more than 20 for sure. I'm, I just don't, I can't really call what race stack was. That's when he DC'd. But yeah, that's definitely something we should keep on our radar, especially if he's getting good races in this last few here. Could de definitely make a case for himself. Mm -hmm. uh, Zeeb does get hit into the truck here. There's going to be a lot of chaos and truck hitting. Half of it will be lag hits too. There's going to be a lot of money flying around. So if you need to pay the bills, I'd recommend staying near the back and collecting that money, but we do Travis is back here on his pick. We do see Audi there too. And they came with some greens trying to get some action in connects. The blue coming for a Roy. Don't know who it is. It's not oh, Cinda. Is Cinda's back here. It's not Devotee. It might be Kai. I think it's Kai going to take yeah. the blue. Oh, but it's actually, it. actually, oh, someone doing Kai an absolute row favor as this is a hard track like this is a good track to keep first on that horn on the blue is what actually going to be huge for kai yeah. i could not tell you i would pay five dollars to know and uh so cinda is back here and kai is in first and rookie is also back here and ace there are that's i think that's either travis or reese in second just because not travis because travis is dk yeah, that's probably that's Reese. Probably Reese. I do believe that is. That that, I think I, I think that's confirmed Kai in first at this point. Yeah. So that's huge for Kai if he can hold this on here. There is a been a while. There could be a second blue shell and a shock definitely could have a factor. But but that built in the third though. Yeah, Kai really needs Wait, this. Kai, Kai gets hit. hit. He gets double redded would be the safe assumption. He gets hit again and rookie is now in fourth right behind Kai. The blue is coming that though, might so it might have been a blessing for Kai. But there's a blue coming in. Actually, Kai would have finished for sure before that blue connected. Yeah. Wait, so I think top two both got hit by that blue. I think Kai got third. Rookie fourth, I believe. Cinda? I'm not sure if Cinda's uh what happened to Cinda there, actually. Yeah, so Reese Maxim getting in the top. No, so two. Cinda does get fifth. Rook or fourth. Rookie actually got six. It looked like he did better than that. I think this is down to a top two, and even so, I think Cinda's insanely far ahead that he'd have to do the throw of the century for to make this one competitive again. But we're gonna uh, need one race. Yeah, we're gonna need one race where Rookie and Kai get like a top two, and Cinda gets like a double-digit <laughs> position. That's what we're gonna need if we wanna build up the super hype here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get some clappers on the board here. We are due for it. Kind of as much as I hate it, like we're kind of due for a dry, dry desert here. But I hope it doesn't pick it. I'm feel. I'm think it's gonna pick uh, Audi. Anti dentist. Nah, oh. I'm feeling a, feeling a random here. Yeah, we're actually due. Uh, we might get Moo Moo. I think. Yeah. Yeah, which is another track that's an HD specialty. So picks definitely going in their favor too. Yeah, Kai's 26 points behind with with six races left. So it's not undoable, but mm -hmm. I would say Kai's the cutoff at this point. Everyone below yeah. that top three is not going to win this event. So, but Kai's definitely going to need to get some magic here. Unfortunately, he was not able to hold on to that first on turnpike, but he's still managing the top spot. Here. Yeah, there's always one. We do see a lot of Roy's back there, so Kai and Cinda could be back there right now. I believe they are. And that Reese is Eve. And we I are getting a Reese. Neo in the top three right now. I haven't seen much from yeah. Neo in this event, honestly. He was doing really good the first half, it looked like, for a while, mm -hmm. watching. But then he kind of fizzled Reese, out. He want to get the trail off on Zeeb, and Zeeb's going to be sent to the back. Ace T-Man also back here as well. And uh, Travis kind of struggling, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. 
I'd love to see a Travis dub, but just ain't gonna happen. He does get the trail on Devotee. Rookie, yeah, Rookie is in third right now. She's looking good. Ace is gonna get redded here. Cinda is in the middle here. If anyone wants, if anyone can do a bro favor and hit out Cinda here, it would be greatly appreciated. He does have a boo though. So Cinda's looking pretty good right now. Again, he doesn't need first places. He just needs to finish, you know, the four or five sixes consistently, and he's mm -hmm. just gonna just gonna slowly, slowly secure that win. So he doesn't need to do anything risky. He doesn't need to take the blues or anything like that. You know, just gotta play it safe at this point. Get a mid high mid spot. I, I think that is recent first. Uh, though, since Neo was... In oh, it's no, not... Reese is back here. Could be Maxim. Yeah, it's Maxim could low-key yeah, be Ma making Maxim's a case for himself. In, like... Maxim could low-key be making a case for himself right here. Audi gets like, hit under last the radar. Turn. Might be able to farm Cinda at the last moment, but does no. not. No. Cinda gets third. Kai fifth. Rookie looks Reese like he's back way. here as well. This is just yeah, more Maxim of... Again. This is just more of Cinda farming his lead at this point. We do see Reese does overtake Ace as well. So Reese is looking for that nice metallic bronze, it looks like, on that player profile, the flex. I mean, Ma I mean, it depends on what Maxim has, because he's in 100 right now, and he could potentially be looking at a 140. All right, Maxim at 44 when he DC'd. So he's at That's... one. Is that including the bot point? Or Actually, there probably was no bot. So Maxim's at 144, so... I think that puts him in fourth place right now. So on 147. Um, so yeah, so I mean, 140, yeah, he's definitely yeah, third. This he is might, looking like a yeah. battle for third right now, because I think Cinda's kind of gone. Rookie's kind of solidified the second, unless Cinda just throws. But I think we're looking at a who's getting the bronze on the player profile at the moment. So I think it's Maxim Reese and Kai, potentially Dark Horse Ace as well. We get the RWS Tra yeah. random. Travis is going for the random turnpike, I think he didn't pull out. <laughs> So yeah, Maximum with 147 would put him in fourth place currently, nine behind Kai for that third place position. So Maxim is definitely someone to keep an eye on here too in the late run. Uh, uh, thank you, Max Arcade, for giving us the Maxim DC points. Really appreciate it. So RWS coming in. First turns are vital. Reese does pull a red Maxim it's a coin, so we should potentially Maxim, the yeah, if the Maxim gets hit here, that's going to be rough. He needs to just keep second at this point. He really, he really can't take this red, honestly. He needs to let Reese, uh, yeah. The he red. really could not, and yeah, you could not. First, so. uh, you could not take that red shell there. That's going to hurt a lot. Really hard to come back here. Yeah, is he missing the MT basically gives Reese a little bit of a breakaway going to Yeah, but you see lap. Rookie up here in third right now, so he might be having to do a last second punch, being like, yo, Cinda, like, I don't know, bro, I'm not going to make it easy on you, kid. So we'll see if he's able to do that. It looks like Rookie did actually get hit now as I was talking, so he is back in 11th. So that's unfortunate for him, and we do have all the Roys in the middle, so Cinda's in the middle Reese position the right now. Devotee, though, so. Yeah, the token devotee, like, last few races factor gonna probably <laughs> play a role here and end someone's metallic bronze opportunity but see what happens you got a pretty comfy top two right now uh if the blue comes zeeb set devotee slows down he's got two ways to handle it so yeah, he could honestly horn devotee if he slows down too and then just dodge with the shroom yeah that'd be kind of an alpha male move right there He's just naturally getting kind of close to Devotee too, but it might just be a bit nah, of lag that, there. That, that's just last turn lag. Like, Kai coming in okay. the third though. Yeah, Kai, uh, I think Kai got hit though, but he's mm -hmm. still... No, there's just minimap hit. He's still good. He's still in third place. We do see uh, all the other Roys are kind of in the back except 1-3. So Rosinda so is in a here. lower position right now. We do see Rookie in about 8th, 7th-ish as well. So this could I be a good race for Kai. Yeah, he's kind of just... Oh, no, it, no, it's the, yeah. What the... Okay. Devotee, I... Would I have no idea what Devotee got hit by there, but Devotee goes down. Kai's gonna Kai be super red. aggressive here, but this mushroom will probably keep Zeev as first. also coming in with regardless. fire, it does connect, but I think Zeev's still gonna hold down first. I think Kai got fired on the. Oh no, oh, did Kai die? No, Kai! Kai, first. Kai. I don't Making know what happened at the end. Did, yeah, I thought, got hit like, up I, I, I thought Kai got hit like seven times there, honestly. So Maxim at 155 now, still in fourth place. But Kai has taken. Did I see Kai take over second right there? Or... Uh, are my eyes are my I eyes hacked. Know. This man's kind of on the come up. If so, 
Let's see what he's opting for in the second place position. Oh, Devotee ended up getting last that race. That hurts a lot. That's actually kind of... Yeah, so, I still have no idea what he got hit by there. You couldn't tell from Zeep stream what so happened to Devotee still there. With 171. Okay, I missed that then. For some reason, I thought I saw Kai in second. I was like, that's kind of sus. No, apparently Kai is ahead of Rookie, so... Kai does currently have that metallic silver on the player profile, but... When you're that close, you really you really want the gold at that point. But Cinda is not letting that go. I mean, maybe getting the vintage desert pick. Yeah. Yep. Right, Let's get the sarcastic good. claps out of the way, boys. So right. that's a chance to break 200 at this race. So we go on to yeah, the so final. He does have a 21 point lead with four races left. Final GP. So it's not a surefire win, but you got to be feeling really good if you're Cinda right now. Mm -hmm. Got to be feeling real good. This is a track, though, that can set up your final three races. If, if you get a bad bagging track in a late of an event, and it just honestly puts you in a bad mood. So if that happens to anyone here, they got to make sure that doesn't affect their last three races. I mean, I feel like at this point, everyone's still like emotionally drained. That like that everyone's like, just like, becoming a bot. Kind of yeah, yeah, the feelings are just not existent at this point for a few people. That's definitely the case. We do see it. Maxim does rob a lot of people of boxes there. He just wants to be that guy. There's always one. You got to respect it. We do be seeing a top two breakaway, which Travis is in second. I'm not quite sure. Did Kai decide to run? I'm not yeah. sure, but that very well could be Kai and Travis up just there. Just completely does a 180 <laughs> on the mini map to make yeah. Travis take the blue. We do see Rookie back here. He may have like a star in pocket. Would be kind of clutch right now if he did. Zeb is going to go for the double item strat. Does pull another star. That's, that's exactly the pull you want, in all honesty, there. Mm -hmm. So you can do the, if you want. He's not going to opt to do the, the, the double shroom, which is actually a good strat, because there was a bomb kind of sus in there. Mm -hmm. Might have been able to get him. Ace Kai second. has a star in sixth right now, so this could be huge for Kai. Maxim also dodge. little spots here. Rookie's up here too, but it doesn't look like he has any strong item of sorts currently. So he might be looking a little rough for Rookie. One of the back spots when I saw him flick his rear view there. Um... Audi with a horn could potentially uh, detriment Zeb's race here. Yeah, Zeb was kind of playing with fire there, going mm -hmm. right by that horn, but. And, what? yep. Oh, and I that think, shock. I think yeah. That was a spam shock. That had to be. That, yeah, Zeb is pretty much done at this point this race, but. Oh, maybe. No, not. actually, no. He could get a bill, and the bill could drop him in the double for some shrooms. Yeah. That's kind of what he's got to bank on as well. That, that was yeah. kind of worthless to just not go through the cut there because he didn't get the chain in the long run. Yeah, he's gonna need this build to stop him before the items, I think, but it it's not going to, so it's not looking like it does. Oh, the build does get an item box by the true. nick of the tail. We do see Rookie back here as well. He got hit too, so Rookie's he's gonna have a bad just... time here. We're gonna need, it's between Kai and Cinda. Travis does nail down the dub. Respect to that man, he ran desert. You gotta respect that. No, it was Nakan the whole oh, time. Oh, it was Nakan. It wasn't even Travis. Nakan coming up huge. He picked, wait, my mind's blown. The guy that picked Dry Dry Desert, it just won Dry Dry Desert in an FFA. That's insane. My mind's blown. That never happens. They always get last or like 10th. Wow. Non-sarcastic claps for Nakan there. Showing some <laughs> respect. Picking Desert and winning it is no easy task. No one can even be mad at the track pick now. Like how alpha male is that? They can't even be mad because he won. True. I think this uh, might mark the games, though, for sure now. Three races left, Cinda's basically just light years ahead of second. Yeah, Cinda... I don't want to give him the pre-congratulatories, but at this point, it's uh, pretty much that. We might be able to have an interesting race for second and third, though. I need to see again where Maxim is with that extra 47 points. He could still be no, putting himself... 44. 44 points. He could he definitely... Uh, he's been picking that for a while, but finally he gets it. So yeah, Maxim so Maxim get... is at 162, which still has him in fourth place. Nine behind Rookie for that bronze. Mm -hmm. How many points is Kai behind Cinder right now? Like 25? That... Something like that. So yeah, Cinder gets first, that guarantees it i'm pretty sure yeah 
pretty much what has to happen here is Akai first and Cinda last is pretty much what we need to happen to even have any shred of a chance at Cinda not winning this event. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much in the books, but we can definitely have a hype race to get those metallic colors on the player profile. <laughs> on the solo circuit finals, that is something you can put on the fridge. You can flex. You can bring that to school, show and tell, put it on the fridge for your parents, you know. You definitely do a lot with that, so there's still a lot to play for. My 3,000 hours in the video game weren't a total waste of time. It's not total flex right there. Um, so UCZ get taken out just a little bit. But I'm not sure who that is in last, actually. If it's, it's Kai, really. that's probably bad news. If it's though. Kai, that is definitely... That is more bad news than the bad news bears himself, if that is Kai. It's Devotee. It's Devotee, though. So we do... That also does mean that Cinda is also decently up there, too, though. We do see Rookie a Roy get hit at the front. Yeah, Rookie is back here. Look, Cinda is back here, so... Fourth, potentially... Cinda, yeah, yeah, potentially fourth place right now for Kai, potentially. Blue coming in as well, that's probably one there of the... There are Roy's getting hit. Yeah, we do need, uh, we do... If Kai's fourth here and this blue causes up some damage... No, there's a no, horn. No, there is though, a horn and a shock. Control. After boxes, though, Rookie was after boxes for that shock in 11, so that's going to hurt him a lot. Cinda, I think that may have been a Cinda shock, but he didn't really get much with can. it. But Snipe. Cinda is sixth place. If that is Kai who took over first, then that is huge. But he's going to need someone to clap Cinda here because Cinda I, can't I be getting fifth. I don't know what's going on with 12th place right now, but it's looking kind of sus. Yeah, Cinda can't be getting... I think that might be Kai in first, but Cinda can't be getting fifth but here for Kai. I think he'll, I'm not sure if he'll reach He'll actually. make it. He'll make it 100%. But yeah, Cinda getting fifth, yeah, though. Maybe... Yeah, so, yeah. I, I, I want to say that was a Kai first, but it's not locked at all. But it pretty much has to be for any shred of hope. Yeah, so Kai Maxim gets second too to fight for those podium spots. So we do have a 17 point lead with two races, I believe. Mm -hmm. So Kai's putting a lot of pressure on Cinda there. He should still feel okay, but Kai's making each of Tata sweat, you know. You just apply a bit of pressure there. Nice first place by Kai. He's probably going to have to win the last two races as well to have any shot, though, because mm -hmm. Cinda realistically will not finish worse than like a middle spot. So Kai's gonna probably need to double down on these first to have any chance. But the third place race should be looking really tight now with that maximum second. So maybe we can, we'll get a look at that before mm -hmm. the race. What we do, man, people must be getting like struggling on what to pick or what has been picked, etc. with 24 races. We haven't had a green castle yet? That's got to that, that's got to be that's got to be a lie. There's no way we haven't had Green Castle yet. <laughs> but Kai is downing on that Green Castle right now. I think we're going to the anti dentist. We're going to the anti dentist by Cinda too. So we do have a 17 point lead. So Kai is in this, yes, but it's still very unlikely. Yeah, but if you're Kai, you basically just need the double first here to even have a shot. He needs first place here. If he gets first place here and Cinda gets lower half, and then we got a ball game, but <laughs> we will need to... Uh... Yeah, and Maxim is apparently three points behind Rookie for third right now, too. So we got an interesting bronze player profile race going as well. <laughs> I'm not sure how far behind uh, Reese and Ace are from those two, but I feel like Reese and Ace are probably the confirmed five sixes at this point. Probably, yeah. So we see Reese back here. I think it was Ace as well. And, uh, yeah, we you see Rookie, Rookie in second right now. Got to give shout outs to people that use characters where it's easy to identify them <laughs> in an FFA cast. So I got to appreciate <laughs> that. The most painful thing was World Cup with Spain, and I forget who, and it was just 11 Waluigi Wigglers, and then just a Luigi on me. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was the most painful experience thing I've seen in a long time. Yeah, so Reese is back as well. Rookie is in four. We do have a Roy in first place. That very well could be Cinda and or Kai as well. That is something to keep in mind. Kai yes, is back Kai here, is and Cinda. That. that may be a BZ Devity in first place right now. I believe there is one other Roy as well it could be, but I forget who the other one is. But it's a 50-50 that is Devity right now. Mm -hmm. And we do have one of the DKs up there too. Uh, Zeep Stream just kind of... Yeah, Zeep Oh, okay, we're back for me. Oh no, it's kind of sussing out. Oh, yeah, it's kind of sussing right now. 
Yeah, it's uh, unfortunate. We do see a DK was first thing into the cannon. Either Nakan trying to get more uh, oh, wait, flexing sorry. near the okay, end. Okay. So I am going to have to re because I am. All right, so we do see a DK getting blued in first place here. Also, a red potentially coming out for Z from Travis, but I. Yeah, do you see Rookie at the back? Maxim up here, so Maxim's looking to take over that second <laughs> position. A Roy is going to sneak into first. If that's Kai, we might have a ball game. It, yeah, like, it's, it definitely could be Kai because all the other. It could be oh, Cinda right. too, though. No, it is Cinda. It is Cinda, and, that and that's is, it. That's that is big. GG's. Welcome to Cinda. Is your solo circuit 150 cc ffa 2019 champion but we still have stuff to play for folks on this last race the top two is pretty much solidified with a cinda and a kai maxim is currently up one point on rookie for the third place so a maxim rookie showdown on this last race is kind of the storyline we're going for <laughs> see who gets that metallic bronze to flex on the player profile I mean, definitely that's, something that's to worth playing about. for definitely something worth playing for yes maxim had a disconnection earlier on passionless of 44 points so that puts its total at 186 right now see the two baby parks then just wants to get it over with what would end it here amazingly would be a random meat locker, but the odds of that is very unlikely. So we will see what happens here. Cinda's going to just BM with that baby park pick. And we will get sure uh, land. Sure bet land. So yeah, so Maxim's at 186 and 185, and then we got a 174. So technically, Reese could get third if he gets first, and Maxim and Rookie get bottom two. Well, so. it was Reese's pick, so... Yeah, so Reese has a very outside chance, but he could steal that metallic bronze for himself if everything goes his way. But it is looking like it's most likely a Maxim versus Rookie showdown for that third place. And Zeb does fall into the butt crack there, which is unfortunate. But at this point, uh, you're just playing for garbage time points anyways. But it would always be nice to gain a position on the last race if you can. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so we do see Rookie in like fourth there. Maxim is one of the Waluigi's. So Rookie is definitely ahead of Maxim right now. Actually, there is a Waluigi one spot ahead of Rookie. If you look closely, so... Second as well. Bill here is definitely helpful since there is a lot of... I mean, it's a very wide track, so... Tends to be yeah. time there. Unless you're using the last parts of the track. Where the yeah, so goes. Rookie is in fifth, but... There's two Waluigi's in front and one behind that we don't know. So it's odds are Maxim currently is in the bronze position. So I think Devotee's trying to troll, which is kind of a uh, sus. But I just saw him go backwards for like 20 seconds. Yeah, it's um, uh, definitely something suspicious. He might want to influence whoever gets that bronze banner, though. You never know. The bronze profile pick or banner, whatever it is. Well, and Zeb, yeah, from there we go. We need the ex we need the Zeb dodge. We, we were due. Yeah, Zeb is going to come up. He might be able to end one of the hopes. You do, I'm not seeing Wario on the minimap right now. I'm not sure if he's in the boo or just hid behind all the bodies. We do see Maxim in six. Wario is behind, actually. So Maxim currently is like a position or two ahead of Rookie. Oh, I saw Ace fly into the stratosphere there. Um, this so, bill is going to be I huge. I think you got to use this after too. this turn if you're Zeb. Because at that point, it just gets kind of sus. I think he's going to jump into the cut with it. He's got to hope he doesn't get starred. No, okay, he does. That green scared him off. Good thing to get it, pull it off, though. And this Maxim versus Rookie thing is going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, oh, it drops him right into the... And he takes the glider. Very, very interesting decision. I like it a lot, actually. And Maxim it looks like fire, Maxim... Maxim will be taking the bronze as Rookie does finish in 11th place. So we do have Cinda first, Kai second, Maxim third, Rookie fourth, Reese fifth, and Ace T-Man sixth, pulling out your top six. And then for down, you got Neo. Oh, we got a three-way tie in... Sorry, two-way tie in seventh with Neo and Travis touchdown. And then Z will get ninth, Audi 10th, BZ Devity in 11th, and then Nakan just barely falling into that 12th place. Any Congratu yeah. Congratulations to everybody who made the finals, though. No easy task. Nobody gave up. Everyone played through 24 races. Respect the grind. Everyone should be very proud of themselves making it to that final room. But a big congratulations to Cinda for bringing home the dub and the 50 
dollars. So, what's up, Cinda? So, hey. congratulations on winning the 2019 150cc solo circuit event. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I feel like a gamer right now. For real? Well, that is a good answer because you are indeed the most optimal gamer at Mario Kart. You definitely did very gamer moments here. Well, I'm just curious, was there any point in time in that second half where you felt any bit of pressure about losing your first or was it kind of just like, did it kind of like low key just feel kind of free like you had it? Because you had a decent lead at some point. Like, did Kai getting first on Water Park put any pressure on you at all or no? Uh... Well, I know Kai can just randomly 60 GPs sometimes, so I was like, I don't want him to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're still, there, there, there was a bit of fear then, a bit of fear. Yeah, I was like, Kai. until yeah. like race 23, I was very nervous. Yeah, well, that's good never to uh, underestimate the opposition is always a good thing. But yeah, you close that out really well. Uh, was there a pop off from you IRL when you shroomed up at the end of Sweet Sweet to take that first? No. No, you're just like yeah. I'm a gamer. I win fifty dollars. <laughs> sweet. Game, dude. Yeah. All right. Well. Yeah, I would probably be screaming, so I can respect <laughs> the kids who can uh, not do that. But I don't very... think I've won a tournament in this game yet. So I think. You won probably the best one to, to win it. This. Yeah. yeah, you won, uh, yeah, you could say this is the most prestigious one to win. Oh, it wasn't, uh, that wasn't even a play on words. That was just an actual <laughs> choice of words I did. That wasn't intentional. But, um, uh, yeah, you could argue that this was like the one with the most weight to win as it is the yeah, qualifier. Not the yeah. biggest one to happen player base wise, but definitely the longest and most draining tournament of the year, so. I was like actually sick earlier today, like until like 2 p.m. I was like, I was freaking like, I was just, uh, I was curled up in a freaking ball. I was not having fun until you were entering that fetal position. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was sick, dude. And then I felt better eventually. Well, that's good because uh, you gamed out. So maybe yeah. the power of gaming was able to eliminate your sickness when it was needed. I think you're right. Yeah, so hopefully it doesn't give up now when you just wake up tomorrow back to sick. Because it's like, up, oh, did my job, let's make him sick again. But, <laughs> but yeah, I respect the grind, a massive dub. Uh, is there anything you want to say? Anything about the dub or any of the competition or anything else? Or you kind of uh, just gaming out? Just gaming out. <laughs> All right. So, any, uh, one, one more question, one more question for me. Do you have any plans on how you're going to use that $50 you're going to receive? I don't know. I think I'll ask on Twitter. <laughs> what will, if it's a Twitter poll, then let us know and you can post it and we can get the tournament watchers, the viewers, to vote on how you should spend that $50. Maybe. Up to you though, your money, so. <laughs> But that would be a very interesting poll, for sure. But but yeah, that's about it. Don't really got anything else myself. Yes, I think that'll I'm do I'm about it. to win this Balloon Battle FFA also right now. You're just absolutely gaming. Yeah, but I think that'll do it for the 2019 Solo Circuit. Thank you all for watching this, uh, I think, like, nine-hour affair. So to everyone who sticks out the whole way, thank you. And... In terms of FFAs for the year, we're not done. We have the Secret Santa 2019 FFA next Saturday, the 21st. So sign up for that if you're interested. It's a 2v2 event, but you don't get to pick your partner, so... Or know who your partner is. Or know who your partner is. Yeah. So, if you're interested in just... Or you have nothing to do that day, definitely consider signing up. It's really fun, in my opinion. Probably the best tournament that we run the whole year. And I think it's a great way to end the 2019 as a whole. So yeah, that's all I won the got. balloon battle. I'm not happy. <laughs> well, it will be the last FFA, but the last event will be the day after on December 22nd when we close out the team agility bracket. But for individual events, Secret Santa will be on. So next weekend is kind of the last couple things on the individual and the team side. Then we'll get a holiday break where everyone can enjoy their Christmas or 
Hanukkah or Rwanda or whatever holiday or that you Rwanda. do like <laughs> to participate in. So everyone should have a good holiday. Pat yourself on the back. We're all gamers. We're all legends. In the end of the day, we got each other's backs. Everyone just eat a lot and just, you know, enjoy your holidays. And eat a lot. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> good games and good night. <laughs>